that was an unpleasant, hopefully just an animal noise. Uh, hi everybody, Dan here with No Games for Old Men, and welcome back to Banishers. Last episode we were reunited with Antia, or the spirit of Antia, and uh, Red and Antia can now fight together. Her attacks so far appear to be limited to light punches, but she does just kind of beat the snot out of possessed <laughs> enemies. Antea. Antea. Did I call her Antea? I'm haunted. Perhaps. If they had talent or training. What if someone sees you? Unlikely. If they had talent or training, they wouldn't have needed us banishers. Like how when she talks, there's almost this ethereal echo. And how she just kind of teleports around. I feel like maybe being the kind of ghost that she is wouldn't be so bad, except they... They referenced when they first were reunited about how hungry she was. And she was weak. She had no color to her at all. She was just this pale blue color, so... I'm guessing she has to feed on living. Something's here. Hidden. Obviously, he has to feed on. Uh, what happened to the trappers around here? Right, the woods are swarmed with specters. Hopefully, they left. Can she collect stuff? And is it different if she touches it? I don't know. Blame the living. Never trust a banisher, for even their name is a lie. Banishers are not helpful agents trying to protect the rightful from the devil. They do not ban the evil spirits back to hell, no. They take make use of the most insidious and nefarious magic. Have you ever looked at their hands and forearms, decaying from the corruption of their black art? Have you ever read the despicable symbols they carve on the rings they always wear? Banishers are not different from any sorcerer or witch or devil worshipper, and they lie to the face of the just. They do not ban evil. They subdue and tame the immortal soul, tainted or pure, dead or alive. Through their fancy words, they transvestite the truth of the Lord. Essence, they say, and residue, and spectral stains and cleansing and... Re sorry, releasing and closing. Lies. 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 Do you know what they call a blame? It is when they steal the soul of the rightful before enslaving it for one of their many sinful activities. So never trust a banisher. Since each time you make a deal with one of them, you may be the next they deprive of their eternal soul. If they decide to blame you for any reason they choose. From naming the enemy by Fear God Waterbury... Wow. Just digging the atmosphere here. Really enjoying it so far. I hope you are too. Uh, that's a long drop. Ah. Shimmy along the lichen, Dan. Oh, there's something down there. Did I miss that? Or can I get down there? Is that where I came from originally? Oh. Actually, there doesn't appear to be a path there. There's a giant boulder in the way. All right, we'll find a way down there. We'll find a way. In fact... Nope, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it at all. Maybe Ant Antea develops some kind of ability where we can use her to teleport to places like that. Hmm. 
These witches you mentioned must know something about the nightmare. Aye, but can we trust them? Well, witches only involve themselves with people if they absolutely have to. Yours must have good reason. Yeah, she seemed nice enough. She had a cool haircut. Whoa! Is that a visual glitch? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was making sure I wasn't about to stop and step into some kind of spectral ethereal death puddle. I think I see a crossing over there. Signs of civilization. Look at me. I mean, there's lit torches all over the place. Those are sort of clues. Nice place. Wolves and spectres aside. Don't you have wolves and spectres in the highlands? Aye, but ours have the courtesy of letting me catch my breath between fights. <laughs> nice little game mechanic humor in the dialogue. Whoop, block path. Ivy. I always hated these sap thirsty spectres. You don't have the required manifestation to unlock this path for now. Such obstacles are marked on your map and compass, so... Y Excuse me? Rude. I wasn't done with that. Alright, well anyway, I'm assuming it said something like, they're marked on your map so you can come back later when you are able to... Oh yeah, look at that. There's like a... an eye there that we're gonna have to blast, I'm assuming. All right, so what does that look like on the map? Ooh, creeping ivy, okay. Highlighted, unhighlighted. All right. Um, what's this? Locked chest? Oh, completed, okay, good. Oh boy. Okay, so this would be the beach where we woke up. We've made our way all the way around here, through this mountain to here. Alright. So is it just that, or some... is it... is there a web? Spectral web I can... No, not that I'm seeing. Whoa! Off she went. Bad news. The bridge is out. And we'll find another road to New Eden. Strange. I see stains, but not the usual kind. Switch to Antea and reveal new sources of spectral mark. There's a pattern to them. Don't you see it? No. It calls to me. Oh, looky here. Over here, you can climb down. Yeah, but I can climb down over here too. There's gotta be something down here. I have strong ankles, but at this height, I'm gonna make it. Uh, I take that back, Antea. Okay, his little rings are glowing. It's just marking this. Okay, so I just want to make sure I don't want to miss anything. Over here, you can. And up and down we go. Yeah. Those stains. I could have grasped at them had I been stronger. It's hard to think clearly. The hunger is back, and it's growing fast. Already? Right, let's find something to sustain you. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, we can't do... Or did we get a point? We did get a point. Okay, so let's do... Activate, refund. Okay, so you can just change... Your skills. It's not... You're, you're not locked out. So that's cool. So you can just modify if you're like, okay, in this particular situation, I think this would be better use. Or if you decide you like heavy attacks better than light attacks, you can switch these two. That's cool. All right. So let's do a, uh, let's see, assault, perfect switch. This is the front dodge. Triggers a melee attack that ignores resistance. Damage dealt by red is increased up to 15%. So far, Tag Team has not been useful at all, because either the enemy is able to dodge after the third light attack, or I kill it before the fourth light attack. So this hasn't been useful yet. Uh, I'm not quite ready to give it up yet, because we might run into some more difficult enemies. So we're going to hang on to that. Swift Banish. Banish points point gains are increased by 20%, but banished damage is reduced by 20%. Uh, alternatively, we could do charged heavy attack, triggers an area of effect dealing physical damage. Oh, heck yeah. I use the charged attack quite often, so I think we'll go with that. Can't upgrade our in uh, inventory yet until we have... Hungry the Hunters. Uh, can't upgrade inventory until we're at a campfire. Oh, here we go. Oh, who is this? Have we seen what this is before? Oh! Whoa! Stop that now. Oh, that, that, that missed. Ooh. I have another insight. Uh-oh. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Incoming. Careful. They mean business now. <laughs> what hit me? I th was pretty sure. Okay. Be a little more cautious about that one. And what is this? It's like a barrel hanging from the... Well, can't do anything about it right now. One, two, three... Oh, see, he vanished. I'm here, oh, damn it. doggone it. Alright, so we'll go with Antia for now. Antea. Because uh, she runs out of spirit points pretty quick, and then... And then we've got a... Uh, it's drink. On you. Try another one. Man. Get rid of the other specter first. Gosh. Did you say get rid of the other specter? This? Yeah, see, he he he, he teleports. Let's go with her again. Did we miss a few? Fuse them all. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good at all. Wish I could have waited until they were closer. Oh, another one? What? What hit me? Was it the specter on the on my left? I didn't see him swing. 
Huh. They'll get back up. We gotta get rid of this guy. Their little uh, projectiles are not cool. Oh, oh crap. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's do a banish. I'm right here. Whoops. <laughs> that was a wasted super punch. Not today. Did we win? <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. I am supremely unskilled at the combat in this game. Okay, so this is something, but I need some kind of a firearm, I think, maybe to shoot it. And they talked about having, like, being able to imbue any ammunition from any firearm with their uh, their power, their firebane power or whatever, so... I think at some point, I'll be able to come back and get that. But does it get marked on the map? As a thing? No, it doesn't. Alright. I kind of wish you could do that. In games with collectible items like that, or, you know, stuff like this. If you could just... Permanently mark it on your map so you can come back to it. I'm never going to remember that that's there. There's someone inside. Oh. Someone tainted. This is the blue torch that was outside the cave that we were rescued in. You're back! Beg pardon. Thought you were someone else. You hungry, friend? The stew is thin enough, but I'd be glad to share. Kind of you to offer, lad, but no, thank you. Been a while since I've seen another human's face. You come from camp? You, a uh, hunter? Of sorts. Of sorts. <laughs> Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. Liking the stories. Jacob Lind. I'm a trapper. <laughs> That's a real job. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? How'd you know we're safer? The woods are kind to them as knows them. We hunt here. When we get pelts and meat, we trade in New Eden. <sighs> but game's been scarce. We've not to trade, so we wait. 
when even the wolves are starving, you know it's going to be a bad winter. How long have you been out here alone? I don't know. I lose track. And I'm not alone. God is with me in the scriptures. Would you like me to read to you? No, thank you. Another time, perhaps. You're exhausted. Unsurprising, given how tainted are these woods. Are you sleeping? I don't like sleeping. I see things. Bright eyes in the leaves. What does tainted mean? Marked by ghosts. Haunted. Tell me of your nightmares. One nightmare. Always the same one. Ben has it too. Would you care to share them? No! No! It is a nightmare. Nothing more. Who's Ben? Another trapper? Hi, the best of them. Taught me all I know. He's out now, but he'll be back. Where has he gone? The bridge is down. As down as down can be. Can't cross. Bad things lurk in the shadows. They sent flesh. Game's low. Game's low and Ben's gone. He'll find game, he will. I know it. Where did you meet Ben? We found each other. Brothers in spirit, he said. He's been good to me. Too good. Why? He's important to you. I and me to him. What lurks in the shadows? Is that what keeps you here? That and the fog. Can't hunt if you can't see. Ben shoots better than me. Knows the woods better too. I'd only slow him. Only slow him. He's lost his nerve. Or a ghost has taken it from him. Get some rest, Jacob. Poor guy. I need it. If you see Ben, tell him I'm thinking of him. Tall lad. Even when he's lying down. <laughs> Can't miss him. Poor child. He's shrouded in spectral stains. Haunting cases. You have started your first haunting case and must investigate the ghost that haunts Jacob Lind. Use the notifications shortcut or open your haunting cases menu to follow this investigation. Haggard young trapper Jacob Lind seems beaten. Stranded, starving in the woods, assailed with nightmares. His isolation seems to have driven him mad. So we've got three more hints that we can find. With the bridge to New Eden down, the banishers wandered through the woods. Searching for another way back to town, they came across the trapper Jacob Lind. Haggard and broken, he informed Red that he was waiting on his good friend Benedict. I mean, he never calls him Benedict. To return from the hunt, clearly he was haunted. With Antea desperate for essence, the Banishers set off to investigate the haunting of Jacob Lind. Whoa! Okay, we've got quite a few uh, opportunities here. And we've got these items. Your meat's turning, friend. Oh, oh scares. Maggots all do. over it. He's not fussy. His meat is crawling. I mean, what's crawling on it is meat as well, I suppose. Uh, this we can't open. I'm assuming it requires a key. Oh, here's, a, here's another one. Are these Ben's things? Most of them. Not the rope. You can have it if you want. Kind of you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. The sturdy rope is mainly used to descend safely from dangerous cliffs. Okay. So the one that 
He was afraid of breaking his ankles. On? Uh, we'll use that. So, here's a campfire. Maybe this... ...becomes a place we can... Do you sleep here, upgrade. Jacob? Ben sleeps here. I don't sleep. Whatever haunts the boy spawns maggots. We should talk to this Ben fellow. Hmm... I'm guessing... I'm guessing Ben is the ghost. Ben went out without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damp. Done work. Can I have it? There's a... There's a, a barrel hanging out here from a tree that we'd like to do something with. Oh, look at that! What did we just pick up? A bunch of leather. He's so confused. I doubt he knows what year it is. What happened to him? Maybe his mate abandoned him. Carcass here. Oh, my Lanta! This thing's two right legs have been completely severed. Wow. And here's a here's a trap that is actually has been sprung. So he's not very good at trapping if he doesn't know how to set up a trap. Of course, if he's losing his mind, maybe he... Oh, it feels like it's getting dark in here. Whoa! Uh, and Taya, I think you're up. Unless Jacob cannot access this. Three specter of dust, 150... Oh! Oh gosh, and I am way low on health. All right, and Taya, you're gonna you're gonna have to do. You need oh crud! Oh crud! Oh crud! Oh crud! Okay, really need to find a better way to heal. Because we're out of decoctions. How do we even... There's sunlight coming through here. Are we able to climb up? No. Okay. Quick mist. Spun by a ghost after a violent death. Anasha row number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the specters get you. Wise, but I see no other way. This? Either Ben was lost in the mist, or he's the source of it. Oh boy. That's... It's gotta be the fog that Jacob was talking about. Alright, well, there's this over here, but... I also don't want to miss out on whatever was... Okay, that just leads back to the cave. 
don't want to miss out on whatever the, uh, is at the bottom of the cliff that Red wanted to climb down. Alright, well here's a trap that hasn't been sprung yet. At least he did that one right. You might be able to drop down from here. Yeah. I do love a drop into the deep unknown. <laughs> Can't see further than the end of my arm down there. Don't worry. It'll affect your other senses too. <laughs> well, this quick mist is thicker than a Scots Dragoon. The smell's almost as bad. Oh, this isn't good. Literally cannot see. I could show you the way. Just saying. Oh, wait. That's, that's better. Oh. And a little terrifying. Something's concealed. Where? Alright, there's a little cave over here, so I want to check that out before we go any deeper. Why is this locked? Can she not duck? Interesting. Huh. Okay. Be that way about it. Do you see that? It looks like the fog is coming from those odd-looking stalagmites. Hmm. It's interesting that he can't climb... I mean, this is a climbable wall for him, but... Not while there's quick mist around? All right, let's let's go check these out. Hold on, I think I can rid us of the quick mist. Huh? Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. Okay. Oh, oh man, really? Do better. Trying to dodge around the tree. Fail. Fail. Oh, that's cool. Careful. They mean business now. Crud, crud, crud. Well, did I get it? I did. I did get it. Okay, we've got to be careful about this. 
Come on, come on, come on. Oh, crap. One more heavy should do it. Sit down. I'm sorry. Whew. Didn't know that would happen. Got away with it. Let's <laughs> find what caused it. Eventually. Let's find out who died. Okay, so there's this residual stuff here. Mm, traces of a struggle. An echo hangs on it. Okay, so we need to perform the hearkening. A drop may hide the rain. I can't. I can't do it no more. On your feet, Lind. We don't no. give up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. We don't give up. <laughs> Leave me be. God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you. What are you doing? Don't hurt me. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you! Ah! Oh. Ben died in the fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. So is Jacob lying to hide the murder? He wouldn't be the first. We need to find the body, if the wolves haven't gotten there first. And how long ago was that? Lock in here. Time to work, Vanisher. Okay, where were they? They were right about here. Seeing any spectral web. Oh, there we go. Oh, a shot on a short stick. Oh, yep. I think Wolves got to him because this is definitely not where he fell. He got dragged. Bloody hell. Lad's been torn to pieces. No, wait. He's been carved with a knife. For his meat. Still no tie. What? A Jacob's hovel, perhaps? Maybe that knife? Alright. Jacob. Lynn killed and ate his companion. But what about him? 
Ghost spawns maggots in Jacob's hovel. Okay. So we'll go back. Jacob was eating meat. Jacob was eating Ben. Poor desperate starving boys. Sometimes you must do what it takes to survive. Climb this now. What have we here? I see no way of getting to it, but that's interesting. That's like the one I saw earlier that appeared to be in an area that I couldn't access. There must be some projectile I have to use to either shoot it or reach out and grab it, maybe teleport to it, levitate to it. Okay, can we get under here now? I feel a draft. From the invisible. You can't walk through the waterfall. Aside from the fact that you get drenched. And it does appear to be cold outside, so maybe, uh, maybe you wouldn't want that. Oh, crud. Okay, so these guys are getting... I'm getting them um, down in four... Oh, no, one of these. Alright, so there's my rope up. Did I complete everything that was over here? Just leads down where the body was... Or the their fight was. Alright, I think I'm good. Uh, does the map have grayed out areas of places that you can see but haven't been to? No. At some point I'm just gonna have to let go of the mentality that I must find everything. It's just going <laughs> to drive me mad otherwise. All right, so let's head back to Jacob's hovel, as they keep calling it. Uh-oh. Oh, nuts. Devil take it. Spectre, going for a meat suit. Oh, ouch. And I'm 
down to half health, too, which... What? Oh. Alright, so do I want to skip that part, that area, for now? Or am I going to get jumped by them, regardless of which path I take? Alpha Glutton? We don't want that. I uh, thought I changed to Antia there. Do I not have enough spirit points? Ooh, what I do have is... Oh, <laughs> I tried, to, tried to parry. Uh, that one didn't work out. I timed it terribly. Uh, come on, Dan. Come on. At least I do have a banish available. Blasted pet. Okay. It looked like he was just kind of flailing there for a second. I didn't realize that that was his particular tell for he's about to do a leap attack. Yep, we are well and truly out of decoction. All right, so let's do this. And then we'll switch to her. We'll try to... Try to beat this thing down as much as we can with the spirit points we have available. Crud. I must be just being too button mashy. I need to play this a little bit more like... Maybe like a Dark Souls. Rather than just an action... RPG. Strong enough. Getting those vanish points quite like I would like. Ooh. Ask for help if you need it. What punch? What what am I not doing right? No. Hopefully, I got it in time. Uh oh. Oh crap. Oof. Oh crap. Tree, 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 tree. God dang. 
And Tia, can you help? Okay, good. Crap. I didn't realize I'd switched back to him. Doggone it. French bread. No, please. No. Oh, for. Oh, God, no. Crying out loud. Stay with Are you me. kidding? Crud. Hit. It happened again. Like. Oh, for. I was trying to banish. Okay. Crud. I am stuck in a hole. Oh, no, please. <laughs> no. Is there a way that I just haven't figured out to get more of these decoctions? I have zero of three. What do I do? Upgrades. Can't do that because I'm not in a shelter. Yeah, I don't know how I don't know how you get those back. Darn it. Like I'd like I'd like to know. Anybody who's watching this, how many times do you want to see me fail before I succeed? You want me to cut? Not here. Dang. Not now. I'm trying to work on that parry timing, y'all, but it's just not. Crap! 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 That was stupid. That was really stupid. I'm right here. Right. My love. <sighs> I think I've been doing this for like 20 minutes. Ugh. been a long time since I was felt the urge to throw a controller. Oh. <laughs> Done. <laughs> uh, I thought that one was going pretty well too. <laughs> Okay, are there some skills, perhaps? This isn't over yet. Whoa. What? How come I couldn't do an attack there? Possession incoming. Uh oh. 
Where? No! Damn. She does extra damage to possessed. They're feeding off their own rage. One less to worry about. Well, sort of. Farfrugnuging believable. That was so hard. And it's not over yet. I still haven't even made it back to the hovel. Who knows what else lies in wait. Okay, here's the hovel. And we know there's more Let's baddies over there. Let's while Jacob's outside. How, huh? How do we know Jacob's outside? Well, she's a ghost, so she could Oh, there he is. Okay. Boy, I don't know how much of those failures I'm going to leave in, but I probably did that fight for about 40 minutes. So, again, I asked earlier, I might have I might have cut it by the time you see this, but how much of failure would you like to see as a viewer before you see a success in a fight like that? I certainly don't want to drive anybody mad with frustration, so... All right, Jacob's Bible. Genesis 9. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Even as the green herb, I have given you all things. But the flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it. And at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, and by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. No, not this again. This, this. There we go. All right, bowl and spoon. A hand whittled wooden bowl and spoon used by Jacob Lind. This tie is doused with the essence of its ghost. Once a closure has severed the ghost's bond to the world, the essence will be automatically consumed by Antea to make her stronger. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Not that one. All right, so we're still missing a hint for Benedict. Come on, let's talk to Ben. What? Oh, so we have to make manifest. That must be the last hint. Ghost is not far. You know what to do to make it appear. You're not 
Jacob. Who's you? My name is Red McCraith. The Scot. You? Antea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. <laughs> I'm beyond help. Where's Jacob? You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Week on week, month on month, maybe. We went in circles. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous. Mean. Round and round we went. Round and round and back again. Jacob said you both had nightmares. The same nightmare. Aye. And yet we got no sleep. Couldn't tell truth from fantasy. The shadows seemed to flicker at the corners of our eyes. How long have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Some winters now, but oh this one... It never ends. No way out. No way in. We were alone. Not an animal in sight. No when things changed. We got stuck. <laughs> These godforsaken woods. We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought him lost. In mind and reason. Who'd not lose their mind? Stuck in place for weeks on end. Deprived of a living. Deprived of a life. Though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became... wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking. Because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. What does he need that he may let go? He needs to face the truth, to accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, Banisher, what did we do to deserve this? Excellent. This was not God's doing. Another powerful entity is at work here. New Eden is cursed. Then God has forsaken us, and we are doomed. Golly. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. All right, well, that's everything. So the ghost of Benedict Stoughton wants Jacob Lind to tell the truth and admit his cannibalism. And then Jacob, on the other hand... <laughs> is he delusional or is he lying? Jacob must confess. His denial runs strong. He must have loved Ben very much. Alright, let's head outside and confront him. Can we not? Yes, still disgusting. Do we have to talk to him again? You're back. I can't leave. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher.
Perhaps we shall. Let me out. Ah, there we go. Jacob, you did a bad, bad thing, you naughty boy. Oh, there's you, Jacob. Mr. McCrite, sir? Have you tried leaving? You were struggling yourself and Ben. Why'd you not leave? We know that. Leave? You can't. No, can't leave. This here is home. We trap here, we eat here, we tan pelt to leather here. Our lives are here. Can't leave. Did you not try the river? The fog had to lift sometime, and if you stay, you'll starve. We have enough. Thanks to Ben. <laughs> Is he considering J uh, Ben as, as a provider? Ben wanted to leave. You argued. Remember? Ben's out and about right now. We don't argue, you know. One time, a storm caught us napping. Sidelong hailstones and everything. We was lost. But we found our way. Even then, Ben never said a word in anger. Even though I slowed him down. Has he lost his mind? Or is he tricking with us? I can't tell. Hmm. I'm sorry, Jacob, either. we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? He's in your belly. Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he? Benedict is in pain. For his sake, you need to remember what happened. You need to remember what you did. But I... No, I would never. I couldn't hurt him. I love him. Jacob, look at me. It's safe to remember. Now tell me, what happened on that cliff top? I was tired. So tired. Hunger was digging holes in me, burning in my throat. I could think of nothing else we don't give up we don't give in but i wanted to i wanted it all to stop hmm yet you gave up on benedict and then you turned on him i failed him I failed Benedict. I was so angry, so angry. He kept pushing me. We kept, we argued, and I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, it was him or me, him or me. I would have died. I should have died. My sins, I deserve no better. I failed God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. Look at that wound on his head. We both faced a choice. Simple and awful. To kill or to die. You struck first and here we are. Are you saying you were going to kill him too? Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now.
Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red, if we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill? To be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. All right, you have reached the closure of a haunting case. As a banisher, you must decide. Blame the haunted inhabitant, ascend the ghost, or banish the ghost. Each choice will have consequences, specifically on the way Red and Antea evolve as a couple. Reminder, if Red wishes to bring Antea back to life, he must blame the largest number of living settlers. Uh, let's see, Benedict, you will gently let the ghost ascend from this world with a release ritual. This decision will contribute to Antea's ascent. You will forcibly banish the ghost to oblivion with a banishment ritual. This decision will contribute to Antea's ascent. What is the difference between these two? I mean, this one obviously is gentler, this one's harsher, but what does it mean for Antea? Guess we'll find out. Benedict Stoughton. In the face of life's inexplicable hardships, at times to stay alive, we must do terrible things. In his despair, your best friend stole your life. Then, he compounded his sin he fed on your flesh. Confessing his sins, he offered to forfeit his life. He has told the truth. You may go in peace. We were trapped. The snare was set to kill us slow. Jacob, my friend, my only friend. I forgive all. I forgive everything. Bye. It's over, Jacob. Ben's gone for good. Ben's been gone a long time. I know that now. I need to give him his last right. Please. We need to be alone. It's over. The tie will sustain me a little longer. Jacob, would you mind if I rest inside a while? Suit yourself. All right, so Jacob's hovel is now ours. Temporarily, at least. No more maggots. Ben hey, is yay. gone for good. Uh, and we can open this now. Just <laughs> steal his money. Uh, let's see. Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. Uh. Never heard a worse pun. I like it. <laughs> Alright. Let's light the campfire and take our rest, see what we can upgrade in terms of equipment. What? 
and Taya can cross ethereal portals that act like shortcuts through the invisible into the incarnate. In combat, and Taya can dash towards enemies, dealing a small amount of damage. The leap manifestation has been unlocked after the consumption of the essence soaking Benedict's tie. Okay, so we also have another skill point available to us. So Kindred, team assist, the fourth heavy attack. Oh my gosh. Triggers a punch attack that ignores resistance. Initiator, damage dealt by red is increased by 30% against full health enemies. That's hugely helpful. Sixth sense, parrying, restore 15 spirit points. Ooh. Heavy artillery, charged attacks, damage is increased by 20%. Oh. Okay, so all of these seem actually very useful. Banishing Leap. Using Leap while the Banished Gauge is full increases Leap damage by 500%, but consumes all Banish points. And Relentless Spirit. Each enemy hit by a punch attack increases the damage of the punch by 7%. This effect can be accumulated, resets after a switch. Wow, so you can just... That makes... And Taya, pretty brutal. The rest of these are all red attacks. What do we want? This would encourage us to get a lot better at parry. Damage dealt by red is increased by 30 against full health enemies. So that's, that's a single benefit attack. I feel like all the rest of these are would be helpful at any time. All right, let's go with Sixth Sense. See if we can improve our parry skills. Uh, we don't have any other abilities for red available just yet. All right, and then we will... Oh, here we go. Rest to make time go forward. Decoction charges will replenish and crafting resources and enemies will respawn. Okay. So it is like... All right. So we've got a couple of upgrades we can make to our Saber and Firebane. Let's go with that. That'll boost us a little bit. Fourth light attack and heavy attack damage is increased by 50%. Okay. Done. And then... Don't have resources enough for that one. Then we can do... The amulet. This will... Damage taken by Ente is reduced by 5%. Nest silt... Evolution, we don't need... Okay, let's rest. See what this does. Let's see if he's going to have another... Another dream. Okay, we are back at three decoctions. That's brutal that... I guess, you know, it's kind of Dark Souls-y, right? Because you've got the... Oh, what is it called? It's a, whatever. What's the healing elixir called in Dark Souls? I don't remember. Oh, anyway, so you don't replenish those until you rest at a bonfire, so... Okay. That man killed and ate his friend. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Just like you. Just like me. How do you feel? I feel trapped. Locked into an embrace with a nightmare. I crave. I crave essence. With it, I'd not so fast decay. 
with it I'd not so quickly become one of those stupid bloody specters. We made the right choice. We made it together. Taking a life is no small matter. When I ascend, we'll be separated. For the rest of your life. Maybe for the rest of eternity. Never again shall we stand side by side. This we, this thing we have, shall cease to be. Ooh, Red is about to swear an oath to Antea, and together they will choose her fate. Choices you make when bringing closure impact your chances to fulfill the promise made to one another. Remember, you remain free to make any choice you want when bringing closure, no matter the oath you have sworn, as long as you are ready to face the consequences. Uh, okay, well, I think we're going to go with Ascend. Red swears he will help Antea's ghost peacefully leave this world once they retrieve her body from New Eden's meeting house. Red swears he will help Antea come back to life once they retrieve her body from New Eden's meeting house. To keep this oath, Red will have to sacrifice as many settlers as possible with a blame ritual. <laughs> We're going to go with Ascent. Right. That's not settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. No regrets. For soon, you'll release me. I'll have my ascent. I hardly want to let you go. I know, but you must. Can I? I am a shadow, caged and fading. You are still here? Still you? We could Jacob Lind's essence called to me. I knew it wrong, but I desired it. There lies perdition for both of us. I cannot abide what I have become. I don't want to abandon you, but I must. Death comes to us so all. Be it. My love, we'll reclaim your body, and I'll have your ascent. I swear it. All right, a promise made. Take your oath. Achievement unlocked. Hungry the Hunter's quest is completed. And we now start the Wood Folk. But, that'll break it for this episode. Oh, we've got another skill point that we can spend. All right, we'll have to do that next time. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden. Hope you're having a really great day. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.